you want to book an Airbnb apartment here in an Israeli settlement in the occupied West Bank, soon you can't. The home renting company is removing all Israeli settlement listings in the territory. That's because the settlements there are considered illegal by most world powers. Israel's tourism minister says this is the most wretched capitulation to boycotters. Palestinians say it's a step towards peace. We very much uh, welcome the, uh, this decision and we believe that this decision is uh, very, very important. And uh, we hope uh, uh, that uh, all, uh, uh, all uh, companies, all travel companies uh, will do the same as soon as possible. Israel captured the West Bank in a 1967 war. It considers the area, the biblical cradle of Judaism, a security bullock to the east. But Palestinians claim the settlements get in the way of establishing their own state. US-sponsored peace talks have been stalled since 2014. On its website, Airbnb said, we concluded that we should remove listings in Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank that are at the core of the dispute between Israelis and Palestinians. Palestinians and their supporters had long lobbied Airbnb to delist some 200 properties there. Israel says calls for boycotts are a biased approach to the conflict. It's upsetting because the idea behind Airbnb was to get people to meet people where they actually live, to understand their surroundings, to understand their needs, and to maybe understand even their dreams. It's giving in to extreme people who don't have any intention in promoting peace, but rather people, bringing people further away from one another. It's not going to promote peace, it's going to promote anti-Semitic decisions made by such an organization. Israel said it'll respond by backing lawsuits by settlement property owners against Airbnb in U.S. courts. But Human Rights Watch backed the move and urged others to follow suit.